everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and I am such a big fan of Pat McGrath. And so I thought it would be fun today to just do a full face of Pat McGrath. I have a couple things that I've never tried before that I picked up at the recent sale. So if you are interested in seeing my thoughts on all of that, then just keep watching. Welcome to my video where I'm going to be doing a full face of Pat McGrath and this is because I took advantage of the sales that have been going on this month and so I filled in some gaps and I thought it would be fun just to do a full face and see and see how it turns out. So let's just get started. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I picked up that I didn't have and I didn't, I'm not sure about this. I'm very much not sure about this, but I'm gonna try it for the video. But I have a feeling that my mom might be getting a new primer um, soon because <laughs> a couple things. Um, well, the main one is, and this was totally my fault, um, I didn't read the ingredients and this primer has fragrance in it. Um, I don't know. I can't tell. I It definitely has like a perfumey fragrance to it and I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to handle it and it depends on whether it dissipates over time or not. Um, but we'll see. The other thing about this primer, um, like I was very surprised. I mean, I had heard this before about some of her products that it's just like cheap packaging. Like this is just cheap plastic, um, I don't know, like a plastic hairspray bottle or something. It's just very, very cheap, very light. Um, I don't know. It's just, it really is kind of like chintzy cheap, which surprises me. Um, anyways. All right. So let's just, let's just try this. Let's see what happens. I'm so scared of the smell. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna do, whoops, okay, let's see here. Well. Oop, is that gonna be enough? Probably not, let's see. Yeah, we'll need a little more, so we'll do. Oh, there we go, okay, that was an awful pump, and that might be too much, but we'll see. Okay, maybe it's okay, maybe it's not as strong as I thought. All right. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, maybe not. Maybe, oh boy. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's strong. That's like, I'm in a department store. All of a sudden, yuck. <laughs> All right, I'm very sensitive. Well, it just kind of feels like a moisturizer. Um, so we'll see. Um, huh, I don't, I don't know if this is gonna read on camera or not, but my skin is turning a little red, I think. And I don't know if that's just from the rubbing in or sometimes I actually am a bit allergic to fragrance. So we'll see. Um, it looks a little greasy on my fingers. Yeah, so far not a winner in my book. <laughs> but I wanted to try, give it the full effect. Yeah, it kind of just feels like a moisturizer. All right, I'll let that settle in a little bit while I talk about this I have tried before and I really like it. Um, this is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation 
And in stark contrast to the packaging for the um, primer, and thank goodness this does not have a fragrance to it, um, but it just, even the box it comes in, like it's just very fancy. Oops, I just, I don't know, I got something on there. Um, it's just like a whole experience and it comes in this like frosted glass and I'm not sure if that's plastic or glass. It feels like glass and it's just so beautiful and heavy and seems very luxe. So this just seems so much nicer. <laughs> oh yeah. I, mm -mm, the scent on that is yucky to me, to me. And I am sensitive to fragrances. If you haven't been here before, I basically can't handle almost any smell. <laughs> um, let's see. But if you are sensitive to smells and fragrances, um, I, I might steer clear of this. We'll see how it goes throughout, throughout the course of the video. Um, anyways, this is in shade light seven that I picked this up. And I'm just going to do one pump of that. It's very liquidy. Um, in my experience, I think this gives kind of a um, lighter coverage, kind of medium to light, which is what I like in a foundation. So that works certainly very well for me. And I basically always use a sponge um, for foundation, unless I'm using a stick foundation. I found that sometimes with stick foundations, I do like using a brush. And like I said, this foundation does not have any fragrance to it, which I really appreciate. <laughs> um, there are definitely um, some foundations that I've wanted to try or that I actually have tried and like, but that I can't use because um, they make me feel nauseous, which is no fun. All right, I think I'm gonna need a little bit more of that, maybe. Do another kind of half pump in a couple spots here on the chin. But yeah, this is just a nice light foundation, which I like. Oh, I do not like the primer. All right, so that's the foundation. And I have two different shades of the concealer. This one looks like it needs to be shaken up. And this is LM8 and then L7. And I think I'm going to use the slightly deeper one for couple little spots that I have for a little extra coverage and things. Let that kind of get warm on my skin. And then the lighter one I'll use for a little bit of highlighting and then a little bit under my under eyes. They're not looking particularly You know, actually, I think I'll use that for a base too today for my eyeshadow. Yeah, they're actually very similar shades of primer, but the one is just a little bit lighter, just slightly better, I think, for me, the lighter one. I'm going to use my finger. I 
and just kind of warms it up a little better, I think. Oh, maybe got a little too much <laughs> out there. Okay, let's soak that up a little bit. All right, so there is concealer and concealed. Let's, okay, so this was another thing I was a little confused about. The under eye powder. I had heard such amazing things about this. And I ordered one and it smelled terrible. And so I wrote them and I was like, is this supposed to have a really strong or is it normal for it to have a really strong chemical smell or whatever? And they're like, no, that shouldn't be. And so I returned it. And then I ordered another one when it came back into stock. I thought maybe it was an old batch or something. And um, it still has kind of a strong smell to it. Like, is this supposed to have that? I guess it's kind of gone away a little bit. I sort of left it open. Maybe it was the adhesive they used to get the pan in there. Anyway, maybe I'm being overwhelmed by the smell of the primer. <laughs> that could definitely be the case. Um, all right, so I thought I would try this. I mean, I've heard amazing things about it. Um, so we'll see. Um, just going to get my brush in there. Woo! I wonder if I zoom in, if you can see the difference between the side with the powder and without. I don't know. I can't tell because I'm looking at you, not the, <laughs> not the monitor. All right, let's see. Go on the other side. I'm also going to use that to set the concealer on my lids. And I used the concealer on my lids because um, Pat McGrath does not have an eye primer, eyeshadow primer yet. So I thought we would try, I mean, that powder looks very light. And I can't smell it on my face. I can't smell it. So I don't know. I am going to just set sort of the center of my face with that. Um, I couldn't pick up her loose powder because um, the light shade was out of stock. I've noticed it's out of stock. Um, Sephora doesn't even carry it. And so I thought maybe it was being discontinued or something. I don't know purely conjecture on my part. All right. Well, that base looks pretty nice. Okay. Yeah, it's a good, I think it's a good shade match. I like, um, I like this foundation. I like light, lighter foundations. All right. Well, I can't smell this at all. And like I said, it could be just being overpowered by the scent of the primer, but, but I don't know. All right, next up, actually, I'm just going to do my brows real quick. Um, Pat McGrath does not have a brow product, so I'm just going to go off camera and do my brows. I'll be right back. All right, well, that could have gone better. <laughs> I used a new brow product and the shade was darker than I was expecting. Um, same shade as I have in a different product from the same company, but darker. So it's a little intense, but I don't know. We'll see. Once we get everything else going, maybe, maybe it'll be all right. All right. So 
let's let's do the eyes next I think that is probably probably a good way to go so I I picked up at um, one of the sales Pat McGrath has been on sale for for a bit now different different sales but anyways I picked up the Venus and Fleurs Luxe Quad Ver Voyeuristic Vixen and I haven't actually used this yet because I was waiting for this video and it looks like this and I thought that this would go really well with some other um some other things that I picked up and I'll I'll get into that but I also thought that this looked like a great quad that you could just do a look with just the quad. Like it just, it seems like it's going to be, it seems like I'm going to be able to get a look with, with just the quad. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to start off with a Ruffer 15 fluffy crease brush. And going into, I believe that's called after, whoops, after dusk. I'm going to very, very lightly, <laughs> very lightly, um, dust off the excess or tap off the excess there. And then gently, very gently with a very light hand, go through my crease focusing on the outer half. All right. And then with a clean rougher one, just a clean brush basically. I'm going to just kind of go over that and blend out the edges a bit and soften it up. All right, and then with a smaller rougher 13, I'm going to go into that same shade here and focus it on my outer corner. Pack a little more pigment in there. Yeah. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do for the lower lash line. Actually, let's just try. Let's let's experiment. I'm going to go into this shade Twilight Bronze and I'm going to put that along my lower lash line. I think the after dusk shade is going to be just too dark for me, too deep for me, for my lower lash line. So let's just, well, this is a rougher 29. I love this brush. It's so teeny. And I'm just gonna put that along the entire lower lash line. All right, and then with a Morphe M213, hello squirrels. I'm going to go into this shade, which is called Moonlight Liaison. It's doing a very simple eye look today. And I'm going to go under my brow bone with that. Kind of a subtle shimmer, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Did you hear that? That was a squirrel. Okay, let's try again. I'm having some technical difficulties today. So, I don't know, my camera just turned off twice now. So, um, basically, I'll just show you really quick. All I did was 
added this shade to my inner corners and brow bone. I think that's where it left off. And then this is all over my lid. It's got a super pretty um, gold to pink and it's actually much more intense than I was, than I was um, expecting. And then I did um, use this shade again to deepen up a little bit in, in the corners, outer corners. And then I did use the Permagel Extreme Black um, Ultra Glide Eye Pencil. I really like this one. I find it really easy to use. And I just put that like in my lashes and my um, upper waterline. And then I have Dark Star Mascara, this little baby one. I like the mini mascaras because I find I don't go through them um, before they go bad. So I like getting the minis. I'm kind of just used to them and it's fine for my, I'm kind of small. And so I don't know, it's easy and fine for me to use. And I thought I would show you the difference between the eye with the mascara and the eye without. The one thing that, um, for my lower and I tend to use um, a different mascara for my lower lashes all the time. Just I try, try to find something with a very small thin wand because this one is a little bit, I mean, it's fine for my upper lashes. I like it. It's, it's fine. Um, for my lower lashes though, it's a little bit, you can see how big that is for me, for my little eyes. Um, and it's really hard to get into that, that corner there. Um, anyways, I will put some mascara on my other eye while I let the bottom dry. <laughs> I'll just say too that um, this does have a bit of a scent to it. It doesn't necessarily smell like an added fragrance to me. I think it might just be in the in the ingredients um, used for the mascara. I do, it doesn't seem like an added fragrance. It doesn't really bother me. Um, it's not overwhelming. It doesn't seem to be burning my eyes. The primer scent though, we'll check in on that, is still bugging me. I don't love it. It has dissipated a little bit, but I can still smell it and I don't think I'll use it again. Um, it looks fine. I don't know that it does anything particularly special. I think it just kind of was more like a moisturizer. It looks good with the foundation over it, um, but I don't like it as much as my, I like the Smashbox Poreless Primer. I really like that one. It's very blurring and mattifying for me. And I don't know, I guess this does look pretty, but I don't, I don't like the smell. So mom is getting a new primer. <laughs> I have like a container of things that I don't like the smell of to send to her that I have tried. Anyways, um, all right, I'm going to finish with the mascara and then we'll move on to the rest of my face. All right, I did use a little bit of white, a little bit, I used white eye pencil on my lower waterline, just a little trick, make my eyes look a little bigger, pop a little bit more. Um, all right, so moving on to my face. I am going to use this blush, Divine Blush in the shade Divine Rose. We're kind of going with a rose colored theme today. And this is sort of a, just a mid-tone rose shade. And with my MAC 129, my favorite blush brush for years now, just going to pop that on my cheeks. All right, and then it just gives a nice flush of color. Yeah, it's nice. All right, and then I pulled out, I have a few highlighters here. So 
Uh, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. I was so excited about this highlighter. I thought it was so pretty and looked so fancy. And this is the, what's it called? Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter. Yeah. And it, the packaging is just so deluxe. This gold, so pretty. And then it's just very, very beautiful. I don't know that I love the texture on my skin. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to go for it. We're going to try it. I'll try again because this is, um, I think, the newest highlighter in her line. I mean, the color certainly works for this look. I just find it sort of brings out my texture in my skin a bit much. Hmm. Yeah. I don't love it. I like other highlighters of hers better. It is very blingy. All right, and it's so, it's so pretty, it's so fancy. So during the first sale that was like for like a day or two and it was 30% off everything, I picked up this lip kit, this Divine Rose lip kit. And it's a lip pencil, lip gloss, and a lipstick, the Matte Trance lipstick um, in the shade Divine Rose. I believe they are all literally called Divine Rose. So I thought I would try that with this whole look which is making my eyes look very blue, I think. It's good. It's very warm. Um, the eyeshadow palette is very warm leaning, I think. I do like her lip products. Um, I like the lip pencil, easy to use. I like the matte trans lipstick, it's comfortable. Nice pigment, easy to use. Um, the shades that I have used tend to be very flattering. It definitely looks deeper on to me than it seems in the pencil, but maybe that's just because I am fairer than I expect or something. I don't know. All right, so Divine Rose and then the lipstick. And the liner is a little deeper than the lipstick. I actually, and they're also, they're a bit warm leaning. At least the lipstick is. It has some orange in it. I think it's cute. Um, now the finishing touch, which is this lip gloss. And I do really like Pat McGrath lip glosses. I think that they're very pretty. Um, they're comfortable. They range, the smell is always kind of a sweet smell, but it also ranges a bit. I find some of them to be more strong than others. Um, they do tend to dissipate. I don't, I don't love them when I first put them on. They're a little strong, but then they dissipate over time. So I think that's fine. This is a very flattering color. I think this is all very cohesive. So that is the full face of Pat McGrath. And yeah, I mean the highlighter, maybe I just put too much on that side. Yeah, hmm. What if I kind of go over that a bit with the blush again? Tone it down. Wow. I mean, if you want an intense highlighter. <laughs> um, anyways, the palette turned out very pretty. I like the theme works very well together. It's um, the Divine Rose Lip Trio goes with the Divine Rose Blush, which works with the highlighter. I think, you know, the products work well together. Unfortunately, I, I, don't, I don't think I can handle the scent of the primer. I don't think I'll use it again. I do think it works with the rest of the products. I mean, everything's very cohesive together. 
Um, so yeah, I'm pleased with the way it turned out. And, you know, I think, I think this is fine, but I don't, I don't think it's anything special and I don't like the scent of it. So that is, that is a no for me. I do like the foundation, super nice. Um, I like this shade match for me. Doesn't stand out too much against my neck often. My face is definitely a bit sun damaged and I've got some discoloration from that and just from age. And sometimes if a foundation matches my skin really well, it won't match my neck. And I think this one sort of bridges the gap kind of nice. It is a warmer, um, a warmer foundation, which is nice for me. And yeah, this quad, I really like this one. And I feel like you can get a whole look with it. Um, I might... You know, I think this whole, let's see, which one, what is this one called? Venus and Fleurs. So, Flower, Voyeuristic Vixen. Um, I think it does have kind of a floral, like a rose theme. I think that works. I was going to say I might want a deeper shade, but I don't have to have a deeper shade in every, in every quad. And I think, or in every palette, and I think that this one looks pretty good. So yeah, I really like this. And that um, shimmer shade, the duochrome, I think is very pretty. It's very intense. It has um, a brighter, almost magenta pink, which I wasn't expecting. And I think it's pretty and I like it. I love the extreme eye pencil. I like the mascara, it's working fine. I'm not sure, you know, we'll see if it transfers. I tend, I have deep set eyes and long lashes, so I tend to get a lot of transfer up here. Um, and then on my face here, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, actually, the highlighter is looking kind of pretty. I do like the blush. That is a nice blush on, on me. And is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, I really, um, I'm really enjoying doing this whole YouTube thing and I appreciate all of my subscribers so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting this channel and watching these videos. If you did enjoy this video, I'd really love it if you'd give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed already, I'd love it if you would subscribe to this little YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Come on. I